Welcome back. My guests today are Shalini Seath, Director of Serati Suites and Energy Regulatory Consultant Tom Landry. And we're talking about the push for the green energy program and net zero. Um, Shalini, the just transition is proposed by the Canadian federal government. Your thoughts on this legislation and what will it mean for your business in Canada? Um, I think I'll just start off by saying, what is this just transition? I, I, I mean, we we take for granted or we we assume that every you know they bring the people to the table and they make these decisions. But to be honest with you, I don't think there's enough information out there for us as manufacturers to even know what the true impact is. And you know, even been given a chance to come to the table to give the true picture of what will happen. So for us, um, as I mentioned, we're a food manufacturing company. We rely on natural gas for our processes, for our all 90% of our products. So at that point, what does that really mean? And does that mean we have to reformulate everything? Does that mean we have to change our processes? Does that mean we shut down certain lines? So I think, to be honest with you, I don't know the true impact because I don't even know what this this just transition is about because it hasn't been presented properly to the, the Canadian population, especially business owners. Right. And, and if you, just a recent poll said that a uh, majority of Canadians don't know what is in this just transition plan. So that's concerning. Um, folks, this is the part of the show that every week I ask my guest, if you're a politician, what three things you would do to, to grow jobs in the economy. Tom, I'm going to start with you. You're on the hot seat. What would you do? Well, I would seek a commitment from politicians that energy costs would not increase by more than the rate of inflation. So the increases that we're seeing in electricity distribution rates in Ontario now are above the rate of inflation. And they're a result of self-inflicted uh, wounds by our politicians on our province. Uh, secondly, I would stop all programs that subsidize new technology winners, such as the uh, Chrysler Stellantis battery plant in Windsor. You know, these the new technology winners provide a few jobs, but in the process, we hurt a lot of other manufacturers who actually lose even more jobs. And uh, lastly, I would eliminate carbon taxes. Uh, I think carbon taxes are a huge drag on the Canadian economy and also on the Ontario economy. And, and they do not allow Ontarians, Ontario companies to compete uh, fairly uh, with uh, other companies around the world. I agree 100% with uh, your three policies. Shalini, you're up. What would you do? Uh, the first thing I would do is ask the questions. I would actually you know, talk to the small to medium-sized businesses, get a true picture of what is required and what is that currently the policy is being written and actually revisit all of those. The second thing, uh, similar to what Tom was saying, carbon tax is uh, another tax, another burden uh, and not with any real end result. And the third thing I would do is look at other economies. And, you know, we want to be as Canadian manufacturers, as Canadian businesses on the global scale. What else are other countries doing and what is working and what isn't working? Because there's enough um, you know, countries out there that have tried to adopt this and it has backfired. So why, why, you know, go down that same path? What's going to make it different? So, you know, really look at any of the policies that are being implemented and um, trying to be um, enforced. So, Tom, I'm going to give you the last word. We just have about 30 seconds left. What's your prediction for manufacturing in the next two years if uh, these policies should come to fruition? Well, I think manufacturing is going to be what uh, is going to happen in Ontario, what's happened in uh, Germany and what is happening in the UK. It's because of high energy costs, manufacturers are closing their plants in those two countries and they're moving their production, if they can, to other countries with lower costs. And if Ontario wants to continue with high energy uh, costs, then that, that's inevitable what's going to happen. So we have to all fight uh, to preserve jobs in Ontario. So just transition, by the way, it's always talked about in terms of jobs in Alberta, but it is also about jobs in Ontario. Just Transition is going to lose a lot more jobs in Ontario than it will in Alberta. We have to fight for our jobs here in Ontario. Absolutely. Thanks, Thomas and Shalini. That's all the time we have for today. We're going to have to pick this up at another time. Great conversation. Thank you, Jess. Thank you.